Hello everybody. Today I'll discuss about how this Y chromosome play a very important role in the sex determination of Melandrium. Melandrium album is a type of plant. It's a dioecious plant with a chromosome number 24. That is 2n is equal to 24. This plant may be a diploid, triploid or tetraploid. So here in case of Melandrium album, they follow XY mode of sex determination similar to Drosophila and human being. It was first proposed by Wamki H.E. and M. Westergaard in 1946 and they showed that male determining genes are present on the Y chromosome and female determining genes are present on the X chromosome. So when they compare X and the Y chromosome, the Y chromosome seems to be longer when compared to that of the X chromosomes. Now we will try to understand what are the different regions that is present on the Y chromosome and what are the different regions present on the X chromosome. So the mapping of Y chromosome in Melandrium shows four distinct regions of that three distinct regions influences sex determination and male fertility on the Y chromosome. So what are those four distinct regions? So they are called as segment 1 or region 1, segment 2 or region 2, segment 3 or region 3, segment 4 or region 4. So of these four segments, three regions or three segments play a very important role in the sex determination and male fertility on the Y chromosome in case of Melandrium album. So in case of X chromosome, there are only two regions that are called as segment 5 or region 5, segment 4 or region 4. Let us understand how each of the segments or each of these regions play a very important role in the sex determination or male fertility on the Y chromosomes. So here the segment 1, the segment 1 or region 1, this region actually suppresses the femaleness. So this region actually suppresses the femaleness, inhibits the development of female structure in the flower. So this, if this segment is functional, then it actually suppresses the femaleness or inhibits the development of female structure in case of flower. Okay. Now segment 2 or region 2, it initiates anther development. So this region if it is present then it promotes or initiates anther development in case of flowers. So absence of this region causes female plant is produced. So in case if this segment is absent then there is a chances for the development of female plants. So region 3 or the segment 3 actually controls the later development of anther development. So they, there is a chances for the anther to become more functional if this segment or if this region is present. So as I told you segment 2 actually promotes the anther development. Once the anther development is present then segment 3 actually play very important to the later development of the anther. In case if this segment or region 3 is going to be absent then it causes male sterility. And segment 5 Sorry, segment 4 is common in case of Y chromosome as well as on the X chromosomes. And these two, since these two segments are very common, they, there is a chances for the homologous pairing during meiosis. And now coming for the function of segment 5. Segment 5, I told you it is present only on the X chromosome. These are the specific regions on the X chromosome which actually promotes the femaleness. Only this female is going to develop only in the absence of the segment 1. So this segment becomes functional only if this segment 1 is going to be absent. Okay. So this is about the X and the Y chromosome. How this X and Y chromosome play a very important role in the development of the uh, sex determination in case of malandry. Thank you.